Hi there, my name is Kevin, and here at my channel we learn how to make the web and how to make it look good while we're at it, with a new video every Wednesday. Today we're going to be looking at a little coding quickie, we're going to be looking at the CSS property that I didn't know about for the longest time, but which I really love now that I know about it, Outline. So the outline is fantastic for nice little extra touches from the design of our sites, uh, and it's a lot like the border property, but it has a few big differences. So I've set up this code pen, uh, so I'm going to share the link to this in the description below. You can come in here and play around with it if ever you want to. So the first thing I want to look at, and one of the cool things with the outline, is it goes after the border. So we always have our border that goes as far out all the way on the edges. So let's set one of those up on my box here. Um, so we'll just do a nice simple border. Uh, let's say 5 pixels solid black. And I get a border all the way around my box. I'm assuming you guys know how that works. Uh, so if I come in here and I give myself an outline, and let's do uh, five pixels solid, and we'll do red just so we can really see it. And there you go, after my uh, border, I get that red outline that comes in there. So that's nice that I can sort of give myself a double border like that. So that's really neat. Uh, one of the first big differences that you'll see is that with a border we can specify what side we want to be working on. So instead of doing border like that, I can say border bottom and have a border only on my bottom. I can't do that with an outline. Outline won't work that way. So if I do outline bottom, it's just not going to work. There's no outline bottom left, right or top. Uh, it has to go on all four sides. So you might be sort of wondering what the point of it is. Uh, right now it just seems sort of like a a not so good border or a dumbed down border. But we have this really cool second property that comes along with outline and that's called outline offset. And this is what it makes it just amazing as far as I'm concerned. Um, so let's change this, let's leave it red for now. And I'll come down and add an outline offset. And I'm gonna do a five pixels. And you can see that's pushed it away from my object by five pixels. And let's just make that a bit bigger so you can see it uh, a bit bigger of a space. It's a bit more obvious. So I can move away from my object. And one of the cool things with this is it's not actually going to push anything else around. So if I had something over here, um, this would actually overlap. It's a little bit like drop shadow or my box shadow and things like that, uh, where it's going to cover stuff. It won't actually increase the size of my container um, with the box model the same way that padding, margin, and border can do. And also with that, I can do a negative offset. So if I put that as negative 20, it's going to go inside instead of outside. So I can add sort of a border or the stroke inside of my box, which can be nice as well for a bit of a design element. Um, so instead of red, maybe I'd make that white, and it would give me this double border like that. Or if that was a positive, so let's just bring this back to 5 pixels and give this the same color, aquamarine, as my box. And then I sort of get this cool little double box thing going on that looks really nice. So I really love the offset. It's a nice little thing. It gives us a bit, you know, a, a new way of expanding. You have a border that's always stuck to it so I can break away. Uh, one nice little use case that you can use this for is buttons. So let's just make a quick button. A href is equal to nothing. Class is equal to button. Hello, close A. Eh? So that should give me my link. There it is. And uh, let's just style that button a little bit. So my button will have a few things. Um, let's do a text decoration of none to start with. And let's give it a um, display inline block and a background background of steel blue. Um, padding of 1M, 3M. That looks all right. Uh, color, whoops, color will be white. Um, and then a nice thing we can do, so as I mentioned, I, I'll bring in my offset. So let's, uh, my, not my offset, my outline. We'll do a nice little outline of say, three pixels, solid, steel, blue. And it's just adding to the overall width of my uh, button there. So I have that. And obviously, when I hover on top right away, it is giving me uh, a little flicker. Um, it's a little bit of a weird thing with the outline, actually. If you don't specify it in the hover, it just doesn't exist. It's 
Usually the hover will copy everything you have automatically, but it gets rid of the outline when I hover. Um, and we'll see in a second how that can do some interesting things, but um, button hover. Oops. Um, here, and this is where it can get a little weird. If I give this an offset now, uh, outline offset of say five pixels, uh, you'll see it doesn't actually work. It's kind of weird that way. Uh, but if I come in here and I give this an outline of three pixels solid steel blue, now it's going to jump out and away. So uh, I'm not sure why it works that way, but I do need to specify my outline here and my outline over here. And the main reason I want to do that is because I actually want this to transition. Transition uh, all is in out 300 milliseconds and it gives me this cool little hover effect going on right there where that little thing you know the whole box expands outwards and I like that and again if I didn't have this outline on there I would get this weird sort of disappearing outline maybe you like that I find it really awkward and confusing um, so just for whatever reason, you need to specify the outline in both places for it to actually work properly. And if I don't have the outline here, it sort of works, but it's not really starting from anywhere. So it sort of just fades in. Maybe you like that. Uh, I like having the outline in both of them so it just grows out and grows back in. I find that looks a little bit more natural. Uh, and of course, say I made this white instead of and then did this with a negative offset, you could do the same thing going inwards. When you hover over, your box sort of goes that way. Uh, one thing that's really important with the negative offset is because the outline is on the outside, so let's just make this red. Um, it's like a border, it's going on the outside of my box. And we'll make this red too. Um, so it's coming five pixels inside, but it looks really small because it's doing five pixels inside, but this is three. So I'm left with only two there. So if you really want a five pixel space all the way around, uh, I'd want to do eight. So I'm doing five plus three. And now it's going where I'd sort of expect it to. Switch those back to white just so we can make it look a little nicer. And so you can get this, this type of effect going on there. Uh, for a nice little hover and that's the outline property so it's really not anything too complicated but again I didn't know about it for the longest time I don't see it used very often so I don't know if it's because people don't know about it or they just don't know in what cases to actually use it uh, so I'd encourage you to check it out try it out if you do use it anywhere let me know share it in the comments below if you have any questions about how it works or any ideas for other videos just leave those down in the bottom in the comments um, if you liked the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, let me know that you liked it, and I'll see you next Wednesday.